Hi, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church. A few minutes of encouragement for you from God's Word on this Thursday. This week we've been looking at Luke chapter 1 and checking out the Christmas story. And actually this is the story that leads up to Christmas. Mary has been visited by the angel Gabriel. Her cousin Elizabeth has also, through her husband Zechariah, been visited by by the angel Gabriel to tell them that they will too have a child, even in their old age. Mary goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, and even while Elizabeth's child has, is still within her, not born yet, it leaps with joy at Mary's presence because it recognizes, being filled with the Holy Spirit before birth, that the Messiah was present within Mary. It's all kind of mysterious, isn't it? And yet here is God at work and affirming his presence and his work among these two women and using them and their children. So we're continuing as we uh, make our way through the first chapter of the book of Luke and we're starting now in verse 46. And this is Mary's response after Elizabeth says, my baby within me knew that you were here and that the Lord Jesus was present, being formed within your womb. So Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he took notice of this lowly servant girl. And from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back to her own home. This is a song of Mary, which is known as the Magnificat. And there have been different actual you know, songs with music that have been written based on this passage. And it's called the Magnificat because in the original languages, that was the first word that Mary utters at the beginning. Oh, how my soul praises the Lord, or how my soul magnifies the Lord. Mary, in recognizing what God has done for her, also recognizes that God is at work in history, the history of the Jewish people. But you know, God is at work now, in our present history right now. And recognizing God's greatness, even when everything is not perfect, is really an important thing for us to practice to recognize that God is our Savior, but He is also holy and He has done and is doing great things. I don't know what your life is like right now in 2020, um, mid-December of this crazy, weird, difficult year. Do you recognize that God has been at work even in the midst of the difficulties and the things that haven't gone our way? Do you recognize that God is at work right now in you and in your circumstances? That God's purposes are not put on hold because of what's going on in our world or in your life, but that God is accomplishing what he set out to accomplish in you, just as he did with Mary. A big piece is our willingness to stop and to consider and to recognize what God is doing. And once we do, that changes our mindset and it lets us to recognize that God is doing things. They're unexpected things, just like for Mary and Elizabeth. But he's doing things for his purposes. And we need to humble ourselves and look with joyful anticipation to what he's going to accomplish. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for Mary's response to you 
her willingness to be used by you to birth Jesus and bring him into the world, God's son. God come to be in a human form. And we thank you for the opportunities and ways that you are using us today. And even in this difficult time that we're going through, you are active. You have blessed us. You have sustained us in many ways that sometimes we forget. Help us to stop and to remember and to put that, letting those experiences that we've had create the perspective that we have for our situation now and into the future. Lord, we never go through anything without you. And so we thank you that you are our strength, you are a sustainer, and you are the one who leads the way. May we follow you more closely. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So I pray that you can also praise God in the same way as Mary did. Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. Oh, how my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. That doesn't change no matter what our circumstances may be. So God bless you in this day and in this week and in the days to come. God bless. Bye-bye.